Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought that I would film a planner must have type video. So I'm just sharing with you guys all of the things that I tend to use in my videos or tend to use in planning in general, kind of talk about them and share why I love them. Let's just hop right into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about, which is like clear, <laughs> I'm just going to put it on top of here so you guys can kind of see it. So this is a really thick, clear card. I keep these in literally all of my planners. I bought them on a random Etsy store. I'm not even sure if she still has them. If she does, I will link it down below. I'll link all these things down below. If she doesn't, I'll see if I can find an equivalent in another shop. But they're like pretty thick, clear cards and I love them. I love them so much. So I'll use them for like drawing straight lines ripping washi if I want like a straight rip instead of like a raw edge um as a ruler like <laughs> I use them all the time they're just so handy and I like that it's clear so with like a traditional ruler when you're trying to like line it up it's opaque so having it be clear you can really kind of get like a full view as you're trying to line it up so that you can draw a straight line or cut your washi or what have you so i find these really handy i think i bought a pack of 10 when i bought them from her and every flip or setup you've ever seen there's been one of these in there um i love them so the next thing that i quickly want to talk about are tombos if you guys are new here i literally use a tombow every single week um, so these are my most used colors that you guys see me use, which is 990 and N89. So my favorite nude, my favorite gray, but I have a ton of other colors. I use them all the time. I absolutely love them. It's a really good way to add a little bit of color to a page while not taking, like not being too bright because they have a lot of muted tones. And also the brush tip, I really like the way that it looks. It's not like a hard structured line that you get. It's a little bit more like relaxed I guess so I thought I would just swatch some of them so this is N89 and 990 so those are my two favorites my two most used I do have some other ones so I really also like 942 which is this one a little bit darker than the 990 and for a pink I really like 800 which is this lighter pink shade and then also 850 is a beautiful color as well. Really like pretty bright for me. I tend to use it more in my Stology where I don't have like a muted cohesive theme going on as opposed to like my A6, but I do like this one. 772 is a beautiful pink as well. Again, a little brighter, but I love the tone. And then, okay, I love my greens, <laughs> but yeah. I love Tombos. You guys see me use them weekly. I think they're a great thing to add to your like planner arsenal to the things that you're reaching for. It adds a little bit of color without using a sticker and like they're pretty cost effective. They're not super expensive. You can get them at Michael's. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in I think they're eight packs with a bunch of different colors. So yeah, Tombos. The next thing that I want to talk about are clips. So I use predominantly two clips. I'm not a huge fan of traditional paper clips because I find that they leave marks on your pages and I can't stand it. So I either use Ollie clips to clip together larger pieces, uh, like bigger stacks of pages. And so this is a matte black Ollie clip. This was from a cloth and paper exclusive sub box. And then this is a metallic gold. Ollie clip just to show you. So this is the, I think the regular size, and then this is the small. Um, I like both sizes and I use both sizes. I also will use them as like page markers. So this is an example of me using it as a page marker. So if you can see at the top of my A6, you can see one sitting right here. And if I like grab it, it's really easy to read, to like feel for. If I grab it, this takes me directly to my weekly. So that's one way that I use all clips functionally in my planner. A lot of people also use them decor decoratively to like hold together their front dashboard or they'll put them on the front of their planners. I'll show you what that would look like as a decorative element. So like that. 
But yeah, I love all clips. I have quite a few in my possession and I find that they're really functional and nice and handy to hold on to. The other clip that I tend to use quite often, and I will be honest, I tend to, I tend to use these a lot when I'm in the Hobonichi weeks, are these Midori index tabs. So essentially how these work is you can slide them onto a piece of paper. Yes, a singular piece of paper, like slim Tomoe River paper, and like they hold on and they're sturdy. So then it would be like this, and it puts a little tab out at the bottom of your page, as you can see. So if you had like three, it would be like monthly, weekly, daily, and you could just thumb for the tabs. You don't have to have any words on there. They're really sturdy because they're metal, so you don't have to worry about them ripping or bending or moving or anything. So these are a great option as well if you are looking for tabs but don't want to go like the sticker tab route. Um and want something more sturdy. They also, I really like the way they look. They kind of tarnish with use and I loved the way that it looked with my undyed leather. I think that it just looked really pretty. So these are the copper and then also the silver. And they're actually pretty cost effective. Um, you can get them on jet pens. I'll link it down below. So those are a great option as well. Another thing that you guys used to see me use all the time, not so much as more, not, <laughs> not so much now, is grid washi okay grid washi is probably the number one washi that i reach for um i have it in the 50 millimeter and the 10 millimeter shockingly the 10 millimeter is my favorite um but i love them both of these rolls are from poi and hun and i use them all through my planner i especially used them when i was in my hobonichi weeks i do still use it in my a6 from time to time and my a6 rings and i also use them in my a6 astrology out of all of the washi in my possession, this is easily the most used. So this is a rather new roll of Simply Gilded, and I just kind of want to show you. This is like, the, these rolls are really dwindling. This is probably the my most used washi I've ever owned. I use them all the time. I absolutely love them because it adds a little bit of like intrigue to the page, but it's still super neutral like super neutral and you guys know like I love a raw edge and I think it looks really cool to have like this structured grid like straight lined washi with a raw edge I just like the way that it looks so yeah and I've gotten like other colors of grid washi like a neutral one and like a brown one I still come back to this black and white one it's my all-time fave so yeah some grid washi really easy way to add some intrigue to a pa to a page while keeping it neutral and pretty and like still like minimal looking without doing like bright pink and characters and stuff like that so next one is my sarasa grand so i have like a couple of these but i only have one with me right now i love this pen it is so luxe feeling it's i think it's metal i don't know i love the clip I love how it's black and gold. I, it does come in other colors as well. Most importantly, it feels really luxe to hold on to. It's got a great weight to it. I love writing with it, but also it doesn't have a grip, which makes it sliding into planner pen loops so easy. I don't have to worry about it. So like, here's my A6. Here's like a um, adhesive, like stretchy pen loop that typically like, pens that have a grip on it like it just gets stuck same with leather pen loops this one just slides in and out absolutely no problems but it's still comfortable to write with as I said so I absolutely love these pens they look really luxe they're nice to write with I've said they're nice to write with about a thousand times it's because they are but they also look beautiful and I like the colors I have a green no I have like a brown one I want to get the green one but yeah Sarasta Grand. And also, I don't use the ink that comes with it. I like the pen barrel. The ink is fine, um, but I tend to use a Uniball RT1 ink refill in the 0 0.5 millimeter nib size or tip size. So I just, I love the pen barrels. So, yeah. It's probably, it's easily like my most used pen, I would say, ever since I discovered them. So, Sarasta Grands. Next, let's talk about this one. So this one I get questions about all the time um, because it is so handy. So this is a traveler's notebook 
in the passport size. It was part of the B-Sides and Rarities collection and this is the sticker release paper version. So they had a bunch of different versions. So essentially what this is, is just reusable sticker paper. So I just take the sticker, lift it up, I can replace it down there, I can move it from one page to another, I can then put it on my planner page. So that's all it is. It's just reusable sticker paper. It's like this coated, you can kind of see it probably catching the light, the ring light, um, but it's just coated and stickers stick down and peel up. The reason why I love this so much is because it's so thin. So this isn't the only version of this thing that I have. Let me grab the other one. So I have a bunch of different like reusable sticker books that look like this. They have a wire O binding and then you have the pages that you flip through. The reason why I love this and use this one so much is because it is like bound like a TN. So it very easily can slip into the back of my planner and come with me like that. And it doesn't make it super chunky and I have so many varieties, like such a large variety of stickers. I can constantly change what I want to bring with me. It's completely customizable because it comes blank. You put in whatever stickers you want but I wish I would have bought two. It's like sold out everywhere. If I can find it in stock at a location, I will link it down below. But this is probably one of my all time favorite planner finds. I absolutely love this item and I wish that they would make it part of their, per like their regular collection of items. I love it, I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so what is next? The next thing that I wanted to talk about, I'm just trying to pull back up my list, you guys. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is my makeshift sticker pouch. <laughs> That's what I had it labeled as. So this I made with my laminator and some leftover vellums that I had, and it's just a sticker pouch, and it just sits in my A6 rings, like back here in my front pocket. And essentially what I keep in here are things that I use all the time or things either things that I use all the time or things that are specifically for my A6 rings so for example holiday stickers I will have a sheet of holiday stickers in each of my planners so that this holiday sticker like this sheet is for that planner so I have one sheet for my monthly one sheet for my weekly these belong to my A6 rings so that when I want to put in holiday stickers I don't have a ton of sheets that's missing one or two holidays off the sheet. Like I try to finish a whole sheet per year. So I, this sheet is designated to that planner and it goes in the pouch and the pouch goes in the planner. Same with month stickers. And then I just also have like random stickers that I reach for all the time. So I do have a set from cloth and paper of drops, dots, corners, hexagons, squares, and tape. If I ever am like planning on the go and want some transparent stuff to play with because in my, um, the one thing in the Traveler's Company reusable sticker TN thing, I don't put transparent stickers. I don't know why, but I've never wanted, I never really put transparent stickers on reusable sticker paper. Cause when you like, when you pick it up with tweezers, it can be really easy to mark the back of it and constantly lifting it up and putting it down and moving it around. They look a little dingy after a while. And I think it's just the nature of the type of paper and the fact that it's transparent, right? So I keep these in here in case I do ever want to plan on the go, as well as this sheet. And then I just have a couple random stuff. So like this freebie, which is very useful for me. And then some papery planning stickers that are very, that I use all the time, like YouTube stuff. I'm constantly moving, like traveling from my mom's house back to my grandma's house, going to work, school, stuff like that fitness and then school stuff. So just some of the most like important icons that I use in transparent sticker paper because I have all those other icons in matte white sticker paper in the reusable sticker book. But sometimes if I ever want a transparent icon, there's a couple of, couple of them for me to choose from in my planner. And I just like the sticker pouch because it keeps it all contained. And because it's like vellum and laminate paper, it's really slim. So yeah, my sticker pouch love this thing you guys see me I grab for this all the time when I'm filming videos like literally all the time so there's that the next thing that I want to talk about is my 
sticky note dashboard. So I'm the type of person where if I'm writing something quick in my planner or just jotting something down, I want to put it on a sticky note. And then when I have a minute to like put it in its proper section or write it down nicely or like figure out where it needs to go or sometimes I'll jot it down in a way that doesn't make grammatical sense. Like I'll be like, like I, once I, because I'm on the phone, right? So sometimes I'll jot it down in a way that doesn't make grammatical sense because I'm writing really quickly. So I tend to always want to jot things down on sticky notes and then when I have a minute to sit down and plan, I'll file it into its correct section. So having a sticky note dashboard has been so helpful when I'm on phone calls and stuff like that or when I'm just jotting down information or when I'm like trying to run out the house and something pops in my head, I just plop it down in here. Essentially for me, it kind of works like an inbox, but the reason why an inbox has never been super effective for me is because I kind of just use it as a running to-do list and I never take the things and put them in their proper section. When I get to the thing on the inbox, I just go back and check it off, but it never actually makes it into like my weekly section or my monthly section. So I, this, when I put it on a sticky note, like this isn't its home. It gets filed away into some other section of my planner. So the way that I've made this, um, it's just the like last page of my cloth and paper weekly inserts. This page isn't cut, but it's just the last page of the weekly inserts. So this Ollie clip, if I flip to the front of the Ollie clip, it takes me to my weekly. If I flip to the back of the Ollie clip, there's my sticky note dashboard. So super easy to reach for in my planner, really easy to thumb for, because I can feel the Ollie clip when I'm like skimming my hand across the top of my planner. So love it. Love it. If you don't have one of these in your planner, find one because make one because I always used to like stick sticky notes throughout my planner, like on the back of dashboards and stuff. But then when I was like looking for them, I'd be sitting here flipping and flipping and flipping like their sticky notes here. And I wouldn't be like looking like, where is the sticky notes that I know I put somewhere, you know, but having a designated dashboard for them has been super helpful. So we're getting to the end of the video. The last, I have two more things that I want to talk about. Tweezers. If you're not using tweezers to plan, do it. It helps. It makes it, it makes the process so much easier. These are literally Revlon tweezers, like, that you're supposed to use for your eyebrow hairs. I use them for my planner. They live in my pencil case. I love them. It allows me to pick things up, place them down exactly where I want to put them. Because especially if you're dealing with smaller stickers, right? So, like this one, for example, even if I didn't have the fake nails on, if I'm trying to place it and I'm trying to get it straight, my finger is going to obstruct some of my view. Whereas with the tweezers, you can put the tweezer and like move it around and the tweezer isn't covering any of the view. So you can get it in the exact position, the exact orientation that you want really easily. Also, if you do mess up, I find that it's easier to get stickers off the paper with some tweezers as opposed to trying to get your my chubby little fingers in there. So um, tweezers, amazing planner tool. I don't know how I would plan without them. I feel like a lot of the smaller stickers that I use would drive me nuts if I didn't have tweezers to put to place them down with. And then the absolute last thing that I'm quickly going to touch on is this planner pouch. So this planner pouch is from Pigtails and Pockets. I've had a couple planner pouches in the past. Um, I've had like some knitted ones that had a side opening and I always return back to this one. I absolutely love it because it has a zipper. I'm not worried about the edges of my planner poking out. I'm not worried about like water bottle sweat dripping onto my planner in any way because it has a zipper. I love this thing like so much. Like I literally have this on my desk all the time and then I just have my planner sitting on top of it like that's how my planner sits open on my desk all day long and then when I need to take it somewhere it goes in the pouch it gets zipped up and I have no worries or concerns about them also pigtails and pockets she has really cute and like pretty fabrics that she brings out and her like stitch quality I have never had a single issue and I've had this for over I think like two years at this point. I don't have any issues with this. The zipper's beautiful. This one was a Friends themed um, 
fabric. It's got like the frame on Monica's door and the couch and the taxi. So yeah, she's got a ton of cool ones and the lobster, but yeah. So that was the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Here are all of some of the faves, okay? Some of the faves. I'm gonna try and find a link for that, you guys. I promise. I'm gonna do my hardest. Do my hardest. I'm gonna try my <laughs> try my hardest, okay? But yeah, here are some of my faves. This is what I use. These are the things you guys see me reaching for all the time. These are the things that I find are most useful for me in planning. So yeah, let me know down below. What are your favorite planner items? What are the things that you reach for all the time? Are there anything that you saw in this video that you haven't used before? I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So yeah, before you head out, please take a second to like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.